Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make hot chocolate, that delicious mixture of chocolate and milk. And this is what it looks like. You can enjoy it just as it is or with a dollop of whipped cream or maybe you prefer some marshmallows floating on top. This is perfect any time of the day. Kids like it, adults like it. So we're going to start. We're going to make enough for two generous servings. So you will need a medium-sized saucepan and two cups, which is 480 milliliters of milk. Now, this is where you have some choices. You can use a full fat milk or a reduced fat, either one. You could use a combination of milk and cream if you want a really nice, rich and creamy hot chocolate. Or if you like coffee, you can replace some of the milk with coffee, nice mocha flavor. So really, you can just experiment. And then, of course, another important part is our chocolate. Now, for two cups of milk, I like to use about four ounces, 120 grams of chocolate. Now, I like a combination of semi-sweet and milk chocolate. You can change the proportions of what I'm going to give, what I'm using here today, depending on what you like. I'm using three ounces, 90 grams of a semi-sweet chocolate and just one ounce, 30 grams of a milk. And of course, your hot chocolate will only taste as good as the quality of your chocolate. So try to use a, cho a really good quality chocolate that you just enjoy eating on its own. I'm using, like I said, a semi-sweet at about a I think this one is 60% cocoa content. So really you could use a bittersweet if you prefer that. And then my milk chocolate. And then if you want, you know, if you're making it for the kids and you want to sweeten it up just a bit, you could put like maybe up to a couple teaspoons, about 10 grams of sugar, which I'll do. I'll do that today. Why not? So now all we're going to do is heat these two together. We want, to, we want the chocolate to melt and we want to heat up our um, milk. And I mean, really, again, this is, you know, if you're doing it for the kids, you don't want it too hot. But if you're doing it for adults, you want it might take, I mean, almost up to the boil. And I'm using a, a whisk. You could use a heat proof um, spatula or wooden spoon for this because we don't want that chocolate to burn as we're heating. So don't have your heat too high, maybe medium. And just, I like to whisk it constantly. Okay, so that's pretty good. I just tasted it and it's pretty hot for me. So now, as you can see, I've been whisking this and I do have some foam. So I could just keep whisking and get lots of foam. Because you know, if you ever go to those coffee shops and they always have all that foam on top, which I like. <laughs> so what we can do, you could just do it, like I said, just keep doing it with your whisk. Or if you have one of these handy immersion blenders, just love these things, you can just put it in there and get lots of <laughs> froth. So we will do that. You can really just do that as much as you want. Fun tool to use. So then, I, I mean, really, how fancy do you want to get? You just want to have like a regular mug curl up with or use a really pretty teacup, which is what we'll use today. I'm just going to use a ladle. That way I won't slop as much. So you can see all that wonderful foam. And if you've made extra, don't throw it away. You can just put, cover it, put it in the fridge, and just reheat it, and it's every bit as good, maybe even better, <laughs> the next day or the day after. So there we have it. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, um, 
a little dollop of whipped cream, like I said, it always makes it a little more creamy, marshmallows. Or you could just grate a little chocolate over the top or uh, sift a little cocoa powder or even grate, you know, put a little uh, ground cinnamon. I mean, really you can do whatever, but I am going to uh, put a little cream right on top. Just kind of, and then it, and just stir it in or not. It's such a relaxing drink. And you know, you make it for someone it's special rather than those mixes. Oh, that's, that's delicious. <laughs> you know, you'll, if you ever bought those mixes, you'll never buy them again after making this. And it's so simple to make. So make it for yourself and enjoy. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com. Thank you.